Hi there, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be working on reducing menstrual discomfort or any PMS discomfort. So without wasting any time, let's get started. All you need is mat and yourself and a will to practice with me. Let's get started. It will be a very gentle, slow, mild practice so that you feel great right after this practice. First, sit in any comfortable position, maybe half sukhasana, full sukhasana, half paddha konasana or however your body allows and try to engage your sit bones and hip flexors a little bit more and take some gentle movements in your legs and tell yourself that I'm going to work towards easing my all the discomfort through this practice. Holding both the feet with your hands could be a great help too. Spread both legs right in front of your body one by one. Make sure sit bones over the mat and flex your toes toward your body. And at this moment, Breathe gently. If you feel comfortable, get into a gentle forward fold and then arch your back to the back to give a gentle back bend. Try to give little more emphasis over your breath. Inhale and exhale. When you inhale and once you feel ready, Bend your legs back to the original position. Keep them little away from the hips. And see how comfortable you feel here. If not, you can change the stance. And you can change the distance of your feet. And try to keep your spine erect as much as possible. Hands at the back of your, away from your hips. And breathe and take a gentle mild back bend. Changing sides to 90 by 90 on hips. Focus one hip at a time. Keeping the knees grounded on the floor. Make sure not compromising your spine. Side by side. Having hands over your belly can make sure that you are not rounding your back and also breathing well. And once you feel ready, try to gently practice some deep malasana. You can modify them by while sitting in chair. If you feel really uncomfortable going to the deep of the malasana or you can use couch. And at this moment, keep your knees bent, thighs engaged, and go down. Remember to keep your knees bent while doing ragdoll pose from going from right to left. And relax again back to the initial position. Breathe. And once you feel lift, your hips while taking hand support but you don't have to go all the way up try to do some gentle uplifts like half upward planks so that you engage your whole upper body rotate your neck take your ear to your shoulder and hands above your head and to side of your body and then try to twist your body to right and to left while keeping hands really active and engaged. Now spread those arms to the sides, right and then left and de-stress your hands to your capabilities so you feel completely relaxed in your hands where we hold a lot of unnecessary stress throughout the day knowingly as well as unknowingly 
and now stretch your arms in front of the body while sitting in any stance of your comfort and relax gentle forward fold one more time and come out practice as many times you want five times will be a good number and from there sit in vajrasana while keeping knees wide open and now again we get into another forward fold child pose but the only modification is we are keeping our knees way far and we breathe in child pose keep breathing and from there you lie down first on your belly and to there we do a gentle back bend where we take the support of our upper arm it's a gentle steady back bend which gonna make you feel really well kicking your legs towards yourself gently one by one can be a great relaxation and a way to engage your whole body while staying in the back bend doing couple of times and when you feel ready go back and relax and again stretching your arms away from the body while keeping the head down and relax in makarasana and once you feel ready come back and sit up in the center of your mat first and then gradually with support lie down on your back we do as mindfully as possible and we breathe here inhale nose chest and then belly and goes out belly chest and nose keep your legs in baddha konasana position it's a supta baddha konasana but remember to do not strain your back as well as your core you can take support if you want like a bolster and breathe here keeping legs stacked can be really helpful and lift one leg at a time and make some circles if that gives you comfort remember to breathe throughout the practice and stretch your arms your legs away from your body to corners of your yoga mat make any adjustments of your choice and try to relax in shavasana take breaths longer deeper aware breaths try to relax all the discomforts from your body through your breath breathe and let yourself relax and whenever you feel ready you can sit up straight or hug your knees and make some movements in your body and go ahead with the rest of your day i hope you feel amazing after this quick practice and you feel a bit rejuvenated from this quick flow if you have liked anything about this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video until next time like i always say keep practicing bye bye and take care